everybody, I'm Anna Hefmaker from Hefmaker Violins, and we're continuing on with our Students Stuck at Home series. So across the country, kids are going back to school digitally. So what does that mean if you're a brand new orchestra musician? It means that you're not gonna be able to meet with your teacher and to figure out how to start playing. It means that you might not even go to a violin shop and rent an instrument. You might do it online. You might have it delivered or mailed to you. So what do you do when you very, very first get your violin or your viola? I'm gonna show you what to do, how to approach it from the very beginning, and we'll do a different video for cello and a different one for bass. So if you play one of those, stay tuned for those. So let's pretend that the delivery guy just dropped off your instrument. Maybe it's in a box, like I said, maybe it was mailed to you, or maybe they just walked in and handed it to you. So the first thing you're gonna do is gather the family around because it's a really exciting moment. And we're gonna take it out of its case. Now, most of the cases are gonna zip or have a clip on it or something, but it should just open like a normal case. There should be no rocket science to this part of it. And in your case, normally, you're gonna have the instrument, you're gonna have a bow, and then often you're gonna have a few accessories. So in our case, you're gonna have some rosin. So you start by taking the violin out. It might be strapped in. And when you handle your violin, you always wanna handle it very, very carefully. It's quite fragile and you don't wanna let temperature um, be out of control. Don't let it get hot, don't let it get cold. Don't let your little brother and sister play with it. Don't let the dog jump up on you while you're practicing with it. So when you're handling your violin, you wanna be focused on your violin or your viola. So when we take it out, there's a really good chance that it won't be in tune. So I have a different video on how to tune your instrument. I'd like you to go watch that and get your parents to help you because it's tricky at first. Some schools are gonna do things like drive-by tuning. A lot of local violin shops and music stores will tune it for you. And I'd like to really um, encourage you to jump in the car and go have them tune it. Nothing is more disheartening than breaking a string the very first time you open it. So getting it in tune will be your number one goal. This one happens to be in tune, woohoo! So after you take your violin out, go once you take your bow out. Now you're gonna learn a lot of this from your teachers um, and in class on Zoom or FaceTime or however you're doing class. I wanna remind you though, don't touch the hair on the bow. It is horse hair. There's another video all about that. You can go learn about that. But it may or may not play when you first get it. So if it was rosined at the place that sent it to you, then it will make a noise. But if it doesn't make any noise, if it's really airy or there's no sound at all, it just means it needs to be rosined. Now, instruments all come with free rosin. That would be very unusual if you didn't have some rosin. So in your case, I have a nice used one here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rosin, it might have a little lid on it, and you're going to rub it up and down the hair. Now, the truth is, if you have no rosin at all, you're gonna need quite a bit. Um, but if it just needs a little rosin, a little rosin goes a long way. If you start seeing white smoke, clouds of rosin poofing up from your bow, you've got too much. And you just wanna rub it up and down, put a little extra on the ends, nice long strokes, and then draw your bow. Ah, now we have some sound, this is good. We're cooking with gas. And of course my phone's gonna ring, but somebody else will take care of that. So now we have an instrument that's in tune, hopefully. We have a bow that plays. You will definitely need a cloth of some kind. Sometimes your rental will come with a cloth. Sometimes you need something from home, something soft, something cotton, no treatment on it, nothing with polish or anything. Because every day when you're done playing, I want you to wipe off the rosin dust and wipe off the fingerprints. Violins and violas, you will need a sponge or a shoulder rest of some kind. Now, which is better, a sponge or a shoulder rest? Yes, <laughs> if you're a beginner, it doesn't matter, but you do need to use something because you need support on your collarbone. So, the way that you're gonna put your sponge on, so let's assume most of the beginning instruments will come with a sponge of some kind. You're gonna take a rubber band, and this black thing right here is called your chin rest. So if you'll loop the rubber band around your chin rest, and then you're gonna loop it 
around, we call this the right bottom bout of the violin. So, and you're going to just make a rubber band right here to hold your chin rest into, sorry, your shoulder rest into place. When you've got, this by the way can stay on all the time, you don't need to take it off. Um, but when you're ready to play, you gotta put your sponge on. The flat part of the sponge goes against the back of the instrument and you just slide it under. Now I want you to notice, I got the violin floating up here. I'm not setting it down on anything. Doing that is really bad for the bridge. You could crack the top of your instrument, you could break your bridge. So keep it floating up here. And I want you to notice one more thing. The tall end goes right in the middle here. So the short end will, it'll kind of hang out over here somewhere. This isn't, it doesn't have to be precise. It just has to go on there somewhere. And now when I play, I've got some support. You cannot pack your instrument away with this still on it, just so you know. So when I'm done practicing, I will take that off. So now we have a violin that's in tune. We have a bow that plays. We have rosin. We have a cloth. We, have, we know how to put our sponge on. The last thing I want to show you in this particular video is your music stand. So you all definitely need a music stand. Music stand is very important for correct posture. Your music stand will probably come from the store in a box of some kind. 99.9% .9 of people get a metal folding music stand. It comes in two pieces. And when it comes out, it looks a little bit like a metal praying mantis. <laughs> and you have to unfold it. Now, these can be a little different from stand to stand, depending on, depending on the manufacturer, but they're all fairly user friendly. I just start pulling the legs down until it clicks into place. And then you have your bottom part of your stand stable. And if you notice, you can adjust the height. Now I've got this up on top of my cabinet, but the truth is if I'm gonna play violin standing up, then it'll go down on the floor and I'm gonna be able to have nice posture from here. This is the top, no, sorry, the bottom part of the music stand. The top just unfolds like a fan. See, that was really hard, wasn't it? <laughs> and they just stick together. Bingo. And you can put your music up there. Now everything's set up correctly. I like to really encourage you all Set up a place in your bedroom, in the living room, in the music room of your house, a corner that is your practice space. You're going to need to use it every day. You're going to want to practice. I don't know what your class will be time-wise, but you're going to want to practice 10 or 15 minutes a day in the beginning. And so having a place where your music stand can stay and your music book can stay and you can keep your cloth and your rosin is a great idea. Now, I do not want you to leave your violin out. Once you're done playing every day, I want you to loosen the bow. Your teacher will teach you all about that. Put the bow back in. If it comes with a violin blanket, put that back on. And latch it up. And then put it someplace safe. Again, these things are really fragile and you want to take good care of it. I also want you to get in good practice so one day when you have a $50,000 violin, you know how to take care of it. So that is what I want you to do on the very first day you open your instrument. Once you get it out, rosin the bow, put on your shoulder rest, set up your music stand, and now you're ready to make gorgeous music. I'm Anna Huthmaker with Huthmaker Violins. I hope this helped you, and I hope you're really excited about being in orchestra and doing it digitally. It's going to be a great adventure. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.